Well, at this hour, the investigation continues into house explosions in two different Baltimore County communities less than 24 hours apart. Now, the most serious happened Tuesday afternoon here in Lockern. Chopper 13 showing you the entire house was reduced to rubble. WJZ is live at the scene in Lockern right now, and Rick Ritter has the latest on the investigation. Rick? Well, Denise, there's still a lot of damage out here, and some people tonight are being told it could be six to 12 months before they get back in their home. The cleanup process in this neighborhood certainly has a long way to go. Charred remains, debris hanging from trees, and homes that now look abandoned. More than 48 hours later, the damage from Tuesday's explosion is still evident. The county's second of the week. That I don't think Baltimore has seen anything like that. The blast inside this vacant house rocked all of Remore Road. More than 12 people are now homeless for the holidays. In the meantime, we've been sleeping in hotels, including Francis Birchie and his family of five. It could have been worse because if it had happened about 20 minutes later, then I would be in the house. Judy Lowell and her grandparents lived in the home that exploded years ago. When I came here, I said, oh, my God. Coming back Thursday to take in the aftermath. It's just unbelievable. The blast was the second of its kind in just hours. I made it to the second to the last step, and there was an explosion. All I remember is to fly back up the step. Stephen Richards' home exploded in Baltimore Highlands on Monday. To have two homes explode like this in two days is just unheard of. Two communities now banding together. So everybody come, make sure we good. You know, every morning everybody gets up looking for one another. The exact cause of both explosions is still under investigation, although we're told arson is no longer being considered. While BGE works to restore gas to some of the properties impacted, others know it will be months before they have a place to call home. How do you keep your spirits up at a time like this? I have faith in God, and like I said, He saved my life. And BGE says some of those homes are still without gas. Meanwhile, some of the victims out here lost just about everything they own. GoFundMe pages have now been set up. Denise. All right, thank you, Rick. For more information on GoFundMe pages, those set up for the victims of both explosions, you can log on to our website, wjz.com.